Welcome dear viewers and thank you for tuning in. If you appreciate the content we produce, consider supporting us by joining our channel membership. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been generating headlines globally. For the first time in four decades, the Philippines, the United States and France are joining forces in a show of maritime unity. This collaboration is not just any routine naval drill, it's a joint exercise as part of the Balakatan maneuvers of 2024. What sets this apart is its unprecedented scale, extending beyond the territorial waters of the Philippines. This is not merely about flexing military muscle, it is a statement, a historical moment that underscores the shifting dynamics in the Indo-Pacific region. This announcement marks a pivotal moment in the geopolitical landscape of the Indo-Pacific region. France's involvement in this exercise on the other hand, it aims to deter aggression, particularly from China, given the increasing tensions in the region. In addition to these objectives, France is asserting itself as an Indo-Pacific resident power. This is not a title to be taken lightly. France has significant territorial holdings in the region and is committed to safeguarding freedom of navigation. This is done through diplomatic dialogue and military readiness, ensuring that maritime pathways remain open. Beijing has expressed its concern citing the joint drills as a provocative act. Despite this, China maintains that it is committed to peaceful dialogue and respect for international maritime laws. Moving to Russia, its stance has been one of caution and restraint. While Moscow has not openly opposed the naval exercises, it has expressed concerns about the potential escalation of tensions in the region. This is not surprising given Russia's own geopolitical interests and its ongoing military involvement in Eastern Europe. In Europe, NATO member states have generally supported the exercises. They see this as a demonstration of unity and collective defense, a cornerstone of the NATO alliance. However, there are also some dissenting voices within the alliance, primarily from those countries who are more cautious about antagonizing China and Russia. The reactions from Southeast Asian countries have been mixed, while some see these reaching implications, we've seen how the announcement, made after 40 years of silence, serves as a beacon of unity and a show of force in the face of potential aggression. France, asserting itself as an Indo-Pacific resident power, has shown its commitment to safeguarding freedom of navigation through diplomatic dialogue and military readiness. The global reactions ranging from supportive to apprehensive mirror the complexity of the geopolitical landscape. Looking ahead, the potential long-term impacts on the region and global geopolitics cannot be under comment and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.